Hello, friends. Hello, hello. Happy Friday night. How we doing? I'll wait because there's always a delay if you're watching after the fact. I talk to myself for a few minutes until I see that uh, we're going live and people are actually with me. Like now. Hello. <laughs> Guys, it's a delay. I talked to myself for a few minutes before. I see everybody here. How are we doing? Happy Friday. How'd your week go? Just want to make sure everything's working here. Hi, Heather, Lori. How are you? Hi, Kristen. Hello, Kari. How are you? Um, I just uh, was upstairs, put my face on. So um, I got here just in time. Hi, Brenda. How are you? Keisha, happy to see you here tonight. Hi, Connie. How we doing? Hey, Julie. Um, very excited to be here tonight. Um, combed my hair and everything for you guys. Hi, Irene. How are you? Tabitha, happy to see so many friends here. Hey, Lorena. Um, Carmen, how are you? Very, very nice to see you guys. Um, it was a good week, fast week, right? As we come off of a long weekend, I'm always like, how do we get to Friday already? I'm not sure how that happened. My earrings are all wonk. <laughs> Cause that was, this was a quick, uh, fashion change from my, um, tank top into some clothing. So I didn't scare you all. Hello, Debbie. It was good to talk to you. I'm glad you asked about clothes for the Alaska cruise. Do you know, I, didn't even think about it. And I'm always on like warm weather cruises. So I'm very glad that you uh, brought that up because I need to plan for that. I need to get some, maybe a lightweight vest and some hiking boot runners kind of thing. So not the clothes Vicky tends to wear. So I'm really glad that you brought that up so I can start thinking about it, right? So hello friends, how are we doing? Does anybody have any questions? or anything um, before we get started, right? So you found my the my book, Jill, in the, in the mail, you found it on eBay. I love that, I'm sure, because it is older and, and um, it's been out for a long time, right? That uh, there are probably crafters who kind of go through and purge their stuff. And because I haven't really talked about it for years, there's probably a lot of them that you can buy out there for resale. So that's awesome. I'm glad that you find it. Hello, Paula. How are you? I laugh for supper. How did your suppers go? Did everybody get their dinner before we started? I sent Riley to get a subs because it was quick and I don't tend to eat bread, but I'm like, just give me a six inch with lots of lettuce. It'll be good. I'll eat it open face will be good. I open it up and I have no clue whose sub he got me, but I gave it to Devin. So it was a one slice of pizza kind of night. And I have to say, uh, I don't eat that anymore. And it, I have a hard time <laughs> chewing that. So we'll see how tonight goes, how Vicky's tummy's doing. But um, very excited to have you guys here. Uh, you're playing in the studio at Scrapbook Store. Oh, you're playing. You guys are playing. I love that in uh, Create Red Deer. So if you guys are looking for a local scrapbook store in central Alberta, I love it. Been loving this latest series. We'll try to play along tonight. I would love that. That's very exciting. And I love when we have store owners on here that there's still community builders out there in this hobby uh, lifestyle, really, that I love. Uh, Rich is in here because he needs you guys to say hello to him. He thinks you're his people. So don't sit on the floor. He thinks I need a studio audience. I, I really don't. But we're happy to have you here, Mr. Booten Sidecar. Uh, say hello. Don't just silently walk around. I think I'm talking to myself. You just kicked me out. Well, yes. <laughs> so they're all high riching you. Hi, Rich. I'm working on my packing skills. Packing skills. Because it's not going to be like lay by the pool kind of cruise for Alaska. So what do no, you no packing boxes? Skills. Oh, <laughs> packing orders. Right. We're getting ready for all of that. So let's talk about a few things. So uh, Crate Red Deer, did you get the new um, Simple Stories collection? The vintage, I for, my, uh, I can never, those collections have so many words in the title that I can never remember what it is. But a lot of you guys have been asking about the class, the vintage class. I will be 
probably sending out a newsletter again, stay up all night like I did last weekend and uh, getting that out. Uh, vintage Life in Bloom. Yes, thank you, Brenda. So Vintage Life in Bloom, it's selling out everywhere. I will have a very limited amount of kits. It's going to be a 10 plus layout class. I am going to post it tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern time. Um, I will also be doing a access only because I'm sure that it'll be gone by the weekend because I don't have a lot of cart, uh, a lot of kits. It was one that I just loved the product. I wanted to create with it just like we did with Spectrum Sherbet, the 49th and market one. So a lot of bit, people have been asking. So I've mixed it with, it matches perfectly with the new Brighton collection from Bow Bunny, another Bow Bunny collection from American Crafts. So I mixed the two collections. It's very large. There's a collection pack from the Life in Bloom. There are um, the uh, Black Gingham. I added the uh, Simple Basics. And then a whole bunch of open stock papers because one sheet wasn't enough. And then a whole bunch of papers from the Brighton collection, cardstock. There is uh, a, three ephemera packs, thickers, layerable bits. So what I'm going to do is sell the kits and then do an access only for another one of those full day layout classes. So we're going to do at least five um, double page layouts. And we'll see what else we can get done, right? I want Brighton so much, so save me one. It is, the kit is beautiful. So I'm just giving you guys the heads up. I will send a newsletter out um, as soon as the live's done because I'm only going to put basic details in that. Um, it's not here yet, but it's all been shipped. So we will have to kit it. I have to find a day to do that. Um, but it will be one of those full layout classes. So I know you guys love that. You voted layouts rather than a mini book. So we're doing layouts and it's going to be a full layout class for my friends in New Zealand. If you're watching this now or later, if you're coming to that Auckland class, which is a very small and intimate group, we are going to be doing this class, but beefed up. So there's mixed media in that one. It, it is a much bigger kit, but it's going to be that one because it's so pretty. And I know you guys really love that kind of vintage, vintage layered whole kind of deal. So it's going to be good. The kit is huge. It's huge and fun. And we're going to make a whole bunch of layouts with lots and lots of layers. So I think you guys are going to love that. So I wanted you to get the heads up because I've had a lot of emails asking, like, when are we doing that class? You've talked about it, but I haven't seen it. Because if you aren't aware, guess what went up last week? Where to next? So the weekend event went up. Um, I'm better than halfway through those kits. Uh, it will be there for a while. So if you're like, oh, it's a lot, Vicki. I can't do it right now. I'm hoping that I can get around to it later. It'll be good. It's there. And then guess what else I've done? We packed grab boxes. We inventoried every piece of product there's like Tim Holtz stuff that you, is sold out that you can't find that Vicky has that I haven't posted. So there's going to be so much stuff coming. So um, partake in whatever you want or not at all. And then for sure, if you are looking for the stuff to participate in Access Only, start hitting your favorite scrapbook stores up like now. Because uh, I went on scrapbook.com today and most of that new Simple Stories collection is gone. So I'm sure most stores that are out here, yeah, it's gone. It's going to be a really good one. So the kits aren't posted yet. I will get them up on vickybooten.com um, tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern time. Like I said, it's very limited, very limited. But I wanted to kind of, I like to give you the minutes before we get started. But tonight, are you ready? Tonight in our, what is this, the third? I think this is the third or the fourth in our series of creative foundation series, we are going to do mono prints. And this is going to be um, the intro to mono prints. Like there, I have some stuff that'll blow your mind, but I thought let's start simply and then we'll go. Uh, question, are the grab box going up tomorrow? Well, I could do the, the one, so I have little grab boxes. So 
just, and I see your question, Debbie, as well. It, so here, let's answer the questions as I see them. It is not what we're using on the Alaska cruise. There's a new collection coming out from Heidi Swap that is all about sailing and it's in blues and beautiful colors. So we're gonna do that on the cruise. I'm gonna order about 50 extra of that kit. So if you guys are interested in that, I won't be posting it for a little while, but we're doing that mixed in with some other collections, including a little bit of where to next, but you can do the where to next weekend and it will be completely different. It's the same with any of my friends that are going on the cruise to Australia. The where to next class will be the same as my weekend event with added bonuses. So if you are doing that, just um, make sure you aren't buying that kit from um me if you're doing that or wherever else like it with michelle or natalie if you're doing the uh, australia cruise because it's the same class for that right i came out with the travel line i need to teach with it somewhere but i figured for all my canadians north americans right you can get the kit from me and do the weekend event and then you have like lots of different paper crafting opportunity. So it's going to be good. So yeah, totally different because I wasn't sure how to split it up. So when I saw Heidi's, Heidi's new collection, which is called set sail, I'm like, no brainer. Let's use this one. So it's going to be good. Um, what other, what was the other question? I will be away on the where it's all recorded. Jenny, all of my classes are recorded. There's lots of people who are home during the event, but maybe, they had a basement flood or they have um, a party to go to or something. So they're always recorded so that you can do that whenever you like. Uh, there was another question. What was the other question I was answering? Grab boxes. So I have 17 grab boxes of um, distress inks. So there are uh, full three by three pads. There are mini pads. There are all ugh, like I, I don't even know how many I didn't even count them but ooh, maybe 15 stencils all of my previous collections all the turquoise stencils plus some mixed in Tim Holt stencils in the grab boxes um, there's some paints some distress stains it's all used product from my classes so I'm going to put them up for a very small amount. Here's the other thing. If you order them, I will adjust shipping as well because all of my shipping is set up on 13 by 13 by four boxes. So these are all 10, like a 10 by eight by three to get all of that stuff in there. So just know, just follow through, but you have to order those separately because it is a packed taped box. Okay. So I will put those up tomorrow at noon as well. They're all packed and ready to go. I'm not showing you a preview. I'm just telling you, there are like a whole stack of the uh, small distress inks and then a stack of the three by three pads, uh, a whack of stencils like this. They're used, they're class things. So I'm selling it very inexpensively. It's more if you don't have a lot of distress ink and you want to kind of start your collection, the colors are mixed. So I can't give you set colors or anything like that. So those grab boxes will go up just like the last ones, right? Grab boxes. Um, so I will post those as well, but you have to purchase that separately because it's already pre-packed and I will do any adjustments for shipping and everybody who orders, there will be adjustment on your shipping because the box is smaller. So <sighs> I think that covers everything. Okay, so for some of you, you're like, I'm just here to do the mixed media. Let's get on with it. So let's get on with it. So um, when I send out the newsletter, I will let you know. Like I said, there's only 17 of those. Last time there were double that and they were gone in seven minutes. So it is what it is. I will put them up very inexpensively. But like I said, if you are newer to me, you will have all like the all of my first stencils like it's a stack like this but like i said they're used they're used um there are like a mix of a whole bunch of different things so it'll be good okay how will i find the grab boxes tomorrow vickybooten.com i will post it like 
right at the top that says grab boxes. I'm telling you, it's going to be first come, first serve. It's really nice. Don't order two of them unless you're ordering one for, well, and you can't in the same order. So you cannot order two in the same order because I will just delete the order because they all are packed separately. So they have to go in separate boxes. Okay. Are the Alaska cruise spots full? Kimberly, reach out to um, Cruise and Crop. And also, don't forget that I just put up the new two new cruises for next February to uh, the Caribbean. And it is one of those ones you can do back to back. It will be a nine day cruise. Do not poo poo the mixed media one, my friends. We are going to do the most amazing mixed media that we can then layer and we're gonna make scrapbook pages. So you're still gonna get a kit. You're still gonna get tons of product and extras and add-ons and stencils and amazing things. And uh, I think we're doing gel plate and we're gonna make our own pattern paper that we're gonna then scrapbook and mix it with other things. So if you were looking at that one and going, it's only four days, I don't wanna do that. I, I want a week long cruise. Look at the doing the back to back. There are a bunch of us doing it. Almost everything, everyone that is on that first cruise in February is doing the second one because there'll be two totally different kits. Okay. So sharing all those things. But yes, I'm super excited for any of my local friends. Do not forget Scrap Fest. Friday night class is going to be a beautiful collection from crepe paper. The kits are huge. Um, there are spots left in that class. There's only two spots, I think, for Saturday morning and a couple of spots for a Saturday afternoon. So it's up close and personal. If you want, if you're local, like Southern Ontario area or close enough in the States that you can drive to Kitchener, Ontario, you can look it up. Scrap Fest is a fun shopping event and you can spend Friday night with me. And then all day Saturday, if you want to, with time at lunchtime to go and shop. So there are a few spots left. It is the only class I'm teaching in Southern Ontario in 2023. Up close and personal, I'm going to bring giveaways and stuff, all the things that I can't ship with me. So there'll be tons of prizes and it's going to be good. So if you guys are doing that, that'll be awesome. And then I will see you at Crop and Create Moncton in like two weeks. So I'm very excited about that. I think there's still spots in one, the second one of my classes. I'm telling you, the layouts are beautiful in those two ones. Um, I finished those as well. So it's going to be so good. So I can't wait. That was lots. Oh, Julianne, I'm going to get to see you. And Irene, I love it. You're going to Scrap Fest. We'll see you on Friday night. I love it, Dion. Very, very fun. Okay talked enough like who wants to listen to me with all that blabber 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 so tonight we're going to do mono prints what do you need you need some acrylic paint because the open time is longer um you need a sheet of plastic because it's like a it is a uh surface that the paint will sit on top of and it won't soak in so i have 12 by 12 excuse me sorry 12 by 12 plastic that um I had for making like little boxes and stuff. You can use the cover of your foundations pad, the white one, um, a brayer, and then some kind of shapes. So I punched some out of paper. I used my silhouette with one of my cut files. I have free cut files uh, on vickybooten.com. Um, but if you don't have a die cutting machine, you could hand cut them. But you just want something that can mix the different patterns. So it's going to be fun. And I saw Michelle Craft here. Hello, friend. How are you? Uh, my friend Kari was at your event. You had an amazing time. And then, yes, and then I will be at the Three Craft Chicks event. Michelle is here, the owner, uh, in Spokane. And I believe the spots are full for in-person. But if you want to do that virtually, I have never seen a box of stuff like Michelle sends out. It's like every single person who supports three craft chicks is her bestest friend. Because when I got, she sent me the full box of all of the things and there were different surprises you had to open up. She wants you to feel like even though you're doing it virtually, you are still 100% part of the whole 
thing. So uh, definitely check that one out. It's myself and Lil Konkar and Lauren. Uh, it, it's going to be an amazing, amazing event. I'm sure I'm going to see a lot of you in, uh, in person, but we will be using where to next for a layout class there with me. So I'm going to make it extra super special. So can't wait for that. Okay, I'm done now. <laughs> let's flip, let's flip the camera. Let's make something. So let's do the things. Here we go. There's my setup. So let me turn my light. Any questions, friends? That was a lot of freaking information, wasn't it? And I know for some of you are like, whatever. I just uh, really want to make some product. Three is the three craft chicks event happening this year. Yes, Denise, there are a number. She is a machine that Michelle, um, she has an event that will go on in the fall. And then the huge event is the summer camp, a uh, lot of washi and, uh, yeah, it's going to be good. So definitely want to check that out. Yay. Kari is going to be in Moncton. You, if you guys haven't met my Canadian friends, haven't met my lovely Kari, you're going to get to meet her in Moncton. So many of you guys that I have not ever met in person. Well, and a lot of you that I have met in person, but I haven't seen in 250 years, right? Will your texture paste work tonight? You just are going to have to create a separate palette, Deb, because you have to water it down. It, it This has to be pretty wet. Okay. Hello, Darina. Hello. You loved Camp Lot. You loved Camp Lottawashi. Yes, and I think the dates are open for next year too, right? Uh, so definitely just go to Michelle's site and uh, check that out. You guys won't regret it. It's going to be awesome, right? I heard that, Irene. You're staying with Kari. I love it. Um, I'm starstruck with this opportunity to meet superstars like you and Vicky. Oh, my goodness, Trace. And you'll meet me and you'll be like, it's just like hanging out with my best friend because really it. I am exactly what you hear and see here is an, at times 10 <laughs> Meet me in person. So be careful what you wish for, because you may be like, oh, my goodness, I am exhausted. Ask anyone who hangs out with me. I am exhausted. She is exhausting. That's what you're going to say. So for tonight, this is what we're doing. You ready? Oh, Irene, the feeling is mutual, my friend. You have been around supporting me for so long. I cannot wait to meet you in person. It's going to be awesome. So this technique is monoprint. So monoprint is mono, one, one print. So the whole concept with this from, because we are working on creative foundations, I'm just picking out different sections of my book from, um, it's in hieroglyphics because it's very old, but all of the techniques are still completely um, on point. You can still do them. It's a lot of fun. So we're going to be doing this one tonight. So even though it's called monoprint, we can get multiple prints out of some of these. So what do you need? Just like gel plate printing, you need a stack of paper beside you. So I have some book paper. I got tissue paper. I have foundations paper. I grab some darker card stock. I have lots of different papers, lots of substrates so that we can try lots of different things. Uh, you're not exhausting. You're so much fun. Oh, Carmen, I'm exhausting. I will exhaust you. If you shop with me, I will exhaust you. <laughs> it's exhausting, right? Hi, Rose. How are you? So yeah, it's a lot of fun. So we are going to be doing this. So this is the layout I created. So the whole concept is going to be having um, a surface area. So you might want cr two craft sheets or some kind of paper you can put your paint on because you're going to be using a brayer. You're going to load your brayer. You're going to brayer your paint onto the sheet of plastic. And then you can pull prints just from that. We're going to do that to start. And then we can also uh, pull prints from elements that we add paint on and then layer them on top. So I will walk you through the process, but it is um, not super detailed like the gel plate would be. This is just kind of a, um, what would you call, not a lazy man's, but just grabbing things you have around the house that can create beautiful art. So a sheet of plastic some paint, a brayer, 
a mister. If you have tweezers, it's helpful because things stick and you're going to want to pick them up um, and move them around. Acrylic paint and then a bunch of different papers that you can pull prints. We're going to pull prints, but off of a sheet of plastic. Okay. Where's the information on uh, Suzanne? So we'll talk for a second because I'm sure some of you guys are like, really, are you going to talk more or are we going to get started? You need to go search three craft chicks because Vicki does not have a working calendar up yet. I work every single day, nonstop. And um, it's craziness. There's so many things that I want to have done and ready for you guys, but oh my good Lord, it, I, I really need somebody who is a full-time assistant that would help me and somebody who's not me. Do you know what I'm saying? That I need the person, Greta, I want Greta to move here. I need the person who loves spreadsheets and organizing. That's what Vicki Booten needs. So I can throw out all of the awesome ideas and then somebody just makes it happen. Oh, another thing. So I reached out to American Crafts. I have not done a walkthrough of where to next yet because I don't have the 12 by 12 paper pad, the box cards or the six by eight. So I can do a, a walkthrough, but I feel like it's incomplete. So what are your thoughts on that? Should I just do the walkthrough this week, regardless of having those? Or do you guys want me to worry, want me to wait? Uh, you let me know, but, um, oh, if I lived in Canada, love Excel, PowerPoint, bring it on. I just need somebody who just, I throw the things at that just organize because, you know, we all have our strengths and because I have so many pokers in the fire, it makes it really hard right? Wait for it all. That's what I think, right? So I know that those kits will sell out as, as soon as you see the walkthrough. It's, can I show you one thing? I'm sure you're not going to say no. So give me a second. You like my ring? Thank you. So let me grab you one thing that's going to blow your mind. Let me grab you one thing. Let me share you, share you some things. I'm going to quickly share you some things. So this, I can't, this skew, holy moly, holy macaroni, holy moly macaroni. And I wanted to share one more thing with you if I can find it. Let's see. Okay. Holy moly macaroni. So a few things. And you know what? If um, you just want to get into the crafting, just come back in about 10 minutes, right? So this is the new chipboard shape. Look how big this is. So this is why. No, this is in your kit. This is added in the kit. But I want to show you one thing that if you were like me, holy Mackinac, I am so freaking excited over this. I am so excited over this. So look how big these titles are. So when you're looking at this online, I bet you look at the scale of this and you're like, mm, I had no clue. So I am excited. This is in the kit. This is one of the things in the kit. This is why I said you can't add. Some of you guys have tried to sneak lots of things in <laughs> the kit box. I'm going to be reaching out to you because it's, you look at it. I would put everything I have in the store in one box and mail it all to you. But um, this kit is so freaking huge. I can't even get the box cards in the box this time. I just can't. I put all of the things with that bonus add on, which is the chipboard freaking frames, which I love, but they're smaller than this one. Um, and that's all I can fit in the box with maybe adhesive. So I'm just letting you guys know, I, I just can't get any more in there. I can't get any more in there. Hi, Dandy. So I that is a peak. It's it's going to be a good walkthrough. So um, just I, I think I really want to wait for everything because, you know, I, the paper pad matters. Me sharing the paper pad with you matters. So the other thing I want to share if the vintage one that's going to go on tomorrow, this is what it looks like. So this is what this collection looks like. It is so beautiful. Do you have this in your store, Michelle? I bet you do. I bet you it's gone already. So um, look at, 
this is what this kit looks like and this look at so that's the simple and then this is the new brighton look at this brighton collection it totally matches beautifully so if you are in this is your vibe and your color palette like i said very limited number this is what we're going to be making a whole whack of layouts with tomorrow or not tomorrow but the kit's going to go on sale tomorrow so i wanted to show you that and for cruise people going to alaska this you will understand is why look at this collection from heidi swap it is going to be a perfect cruise collection okay so we're going to be using a whole bunch of that so there that's sharing the things and now let's make something so with this technique tonight so if you have questions let me know as we start working i will happily answer any of your questions my palette tonight is going to be a warm palette. I'm just going to stick. Remember that I said, because we're going to do a whole bunch of layering with this, like we're making a whole bunch of mixed media stuff, right? So I don't want to do um, the rainbow. I want you to have things that are kind of monochromatic. So when they layer together, it will be beautiful. Um, it will be beautiful. So just make sure when you do this, that you can put the whole rainbow on your background if you want, but also do some things that are um, monochromatic or in like a similar color family. It doesn't mean everything has to be warm. You could do some other things like you could do black if you wanted to just black with one other color would be really pretty too. So when we go tonight, we're going to be making prints. So, like I said, you can pull a print. I'm going to show you just pulling a basic print if you wanted a really cool background that you could build a layout on, let's say. And then we're going to do where it's like um, the first print, the second print, like where we can get multiple pulls from one um, application of paint. Okay. So I have my paper ready. Like I said, I'm going to try some book paper. I have tissue. I have foundations. I have some textured paper from my gel plate stack. And we're going to try a bunch of different things. So that's ready. I have my sheet of plastic. But like I said, you could use the cover of the foundations paper. I'm going to use one for my palette. And I will use one to actually pull prints. So let me move some stuff around. Let's see. I have crap everywhere. What's your studio or workspace look like? Do you have crap everywhere? <laughs> crap everywhere, right? Um, I have craft sheet because it's going to be a little messy. Okay. This was is a dirty craft sheet. So there. Now it's a clean craft sheet because there's two sides, right? Uh, you can punch circles. So you can have some scrap paper you can just punch some circles with. I told you guys that um, you could use uh, cup files. So look what I cut. You tidied your space today. Oh, doesn't it feel good? It feels good. I cleaned it when Greta came here and then I worked all week and it does not look like when Greta came here now. And then Greta also makes those beautiful shaker cards. So she had a lot of fun spilling all of her shaker beads. <laughs> she kept going, whoops, whoops. And you could hear <laughs> all over the floor. I love it, right? So that would be, I think, the um, danger of, look it, you could use this. Isn't that fun? Uh, the danger of um, doing uh, shaker boxes, right? Do I have a picker? Oh, it was so funny because I'd look across, you'd go, whoops, and it would go, you could hear them rolling all over the floor. So I picked, like I said, this is a free cut file on vickybooten.com. I thought these could be fun for a background. Could you cut these out of a piece of paper? You sure could. You could draw them. You could print them. Because the file that you download, you could print the file and then just cut it out. Hello, Jennifer. And so I'm just going to pick these off so they're ready to go. And then I have also have a cup of shapes that I punched. Hearts, stars, some leaves. 
So circles, whatever you want to do, right? If you have um, dies, you could totally die cut them as well. This is a good sticky craft mat, right? Or cutting mat. It is a fun one, right? And it's very easy to cut. So I need to make some more. I drew these. And then um, between Natalie and Nicole, uh, they made them into cut files for me. Um, and if you are not familiar, very sad news. My friend Nicole Noah said, who has uh, just Nick Studio, she is closing down her cut file shop. So all of her cut files are on 50 percent off. So I really think if you love cut files, go and show some support to our amazing community member and my design team member and friend, Nicole, uh, and get yourself some cut files. I'm going to be heading over there and uh, ordering a whole whack because she is an amazing cut file designer. And, you know, life just she's just done with doing that. So um, I think it is definitely worthwhile to go and uh, support a friend. So um, I'm sure Natalie will add a link to uh, Nicole's website. And if you guys are looking for some really pretty cut files, you can go check that out. Okay, so I wanted to take those off so you could see it in action. Yeah, her cut files are beautiful. I love them. As a mixed media maker, I love her cut files because she has lots of like negative and positive space so I can cut uh, my art to make beautiful butterflies and flowers. So definitely, if you like what I do, you want to check that out. I think it's called Just Nick Studios, but I'm sure Natalie, she's awesome. She's always sharing with us. She'll put something up. There it is. Just Nick dot Shopify dot com. Okay. So you guys can check that out. Like I said, 50% off. So you are going to find some amazing stuff and amazing deals. I have wipes and paper towels ready because it's messy tonight. Not going to lie. It's a messy night. You want a brayer? What's going to happen is, like I said, we're going to put some color down. Like I said, you can use your cover from your foundations pad if you have that or a sheet of plastic. When you find something like this, like keep it, right? You can reuse it and reuse it and reuse it. So it's it's a very handy tool. Now let's get started. So I'm gonna have, let's do a 12 by 12 to start a couple of them, right? I wanna show you that this is a great way to add paint to a background. I just have a sheet of foundations because I'll do this as a 12 by 12. And we could start with um, a background that we can use just as like a base for a layout. So I'm going to put some pink. I will also at some point, I'll grab some of my gold glaze. I don't need a lot of paint. It's on a, a non-porous surface, right? So when I go and brayer this on, it's gonna go pretty far. If you want to, right at the beginning, you could put a little bit of water on just so it you have a little bit of open time, right? But look at, you could do something like this, right? And I'm going to find a sheet of paper that I am going to also brayer off. Not that one. So the other thing you have to keep in mind is you don't have a ton of open time with this. You gotta, you gotta hustle, gotta move. So let's just go and have our sheet we're gonna roll off on. And then maybe I'll do a little bit of a two-tone. So maybe a little bit of yellow on the bottom. Okay. And I like that. I'm going to leave that. I'm, I'm digging that kind of wonky pattern. So you can do two things. You can mist on here or you could mist on your paper. But I'm just going to give this a little mist just so I know that it is working. If you put too much water on your background, you're going to get a mess. Okay, so kind of keep that in mind. 
So I'm going to put that on there. And I'm going to pick this up and see what we get. You could brayer it to pick up as much of that paint as you want. And this is one of those things that you could get a couple of backgrounds from. Now look at that, friends. How fun is that? Now I want to show you something. So I could take this, and because it's acrylic paint, it's buckling a little because it was wet, is you could also go in here and put a little bit of water on it, okay? And I'm, I'm going to lift the water off in a bit. But look how fun is that? We just made our own pattern paper from a sheet of freaking plastic, right? But do you see there's still paint on here? You got to move a little fast. But why can't you, let's see, with a piece of tissue paper, what will we get, right? So what will we get with a little piece of tissue? Oh, look how fun that is. It's like a first layer to something else. A first layer. Let's do one more. I'm going to really wet this. Um, do we want to, let's add a little bit of orange. How are we doing? Are we okay here, friends? Here, let's, we're going to add a pattern on here. I'm going to put that on here and let's do our pencil trick. So what is this going to look like? With some dots. Like I said, it's meant to be messy it is not really going on really well so we're just going to go with it though right and let's see what we get now you're going to have to wet it and press pretty hard but the pigment should really still be pretty wet on here, okay? Let's see what we're gonna get. Now these wetter areas of orange paint are gonna be a little different. Let's see what we're going to get. I'm going to do another one with foundations because I have it here. Or here. This is just cardstock. Let's just do a sheet with cardstock. I'm going to do it on the textured side. Will it pick up as much paint? It will not. But I'm going to see what I'm going to get. Here we go. Yep, super easy. And guess what? Like everything we do, we're just going to see what we can get. Now, the other thing to keep in mind, don't leave, don't go leave this and take the dog for a walk because you will glue it. The paint, when it dries, would act like glue, right? So you do need to lift it. Oh, my goodness. Wait till you see this one. How pretty is that? So look at it. It looks like linen because the paper had texture on it. Super easy, super fun, super cool. So I'm gonna wipe this up. Could you keep going with this? Sure, you could layer some more stuff on here. You could keep playing, um, but we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna clean this off and we're gonna go in with our next color. Well, I want to do the next thingy, okay? So we're going to do two kind of thingies. Let's pull another background with just like maybe one color, okay? So what do we want to use? I'm going to go with just yellow. I'm just going to go with yellow, okay? Love the scrap, the brayered off piece, definitely. These are great sheets to use for die cuts, stamping on, mixed media. I love it, right? It's the poor man's gel plate. It is, it's printmaking, 
Do you know what I'm saying? It's printmaking. Don't need a ton of color on here. So even though it's not on a gel plate, you're still pulling a print. You can't get the detail you could with a gel plate, right? Because you can lift the paint when it all dries. Um, but this would be a great thing if you're a teacher or if you have kids that you want to craft with. You could make your own wrapping paper, your own bases for your cards. Like this is not something that uh, only, well, I don't think anything we're doing in this whole series is just for scrapbookers at all right? It's not just for scrapbookers. It's for anybody who wants to make the things. So that's all I'm doing to clean that off. I'm going to lightly mist it. I'm not soaking this with water, okay? I'm going to print this one on foundations. So we're going to do a layer. I'm going to clean the plate off and we're going to put some more color on it, okay? So I'm going to print that. It is an acetate sheet. Yes, it is. This is literally the cover off the foundation's paper. You need to have a sheet of plastic to do this. And wait until I show you the part two of this. It won't be tonight. Oh, I love that. Look at that. Very fun. Very simple. Good. Yes, you don't have to be a scrapbooker. You could literally uh, love art journaling. This would work. You could love card making. You could just like making art. And all of this would work for you. Do you notice I wipe dry first and then I wet it to clean it up? Because if you go in and wet acrylic paint, uh, the cleanup is double the time because you're just reconstituting the paint and just making a lot more yellow wet paint. So just kind of clean that up. I don't want any residual color. So I'm gonna make sure I'm lifting that all up so we can go in now with another color. So let's, let's do this to start, okay? So I am going to put down this pattern. So whatever I'm gonna, because you would have to cut a lot of these out, right, to get, Let's do like that, okay? So now I'm going to brayer over these. So there's a couple things that you could do. I'm gonna show you. We're gonna do a couple different things, okay? So ideally, let's see if I can use a little bit of re repositionable adhesive and get them to stay on the sheet because I'm gonna brayer paint over top of them. But then I also want to lift them and get a second pull when we lift them off. Um, I'm using the textured side of the paper up because this really should print with the texture. Great for art journals, yeah. It's great for anything you want to use it with. So let's do this. Okay. Is it gonna work? I think so. I think the, the um, Repositional tape, repositionable tape worked. So I'm gonna go in, ooh, I'm gonna go in with this. It is called Primary Red. And I'm gonna start off the side of the page with a little bit, little bit. Don't get crazy, it's no different than gel plate printing. And I am going to start brayering that and I want it on these as well. You need a, a fair, amount of paint on these, not gonna lie, because it's porous, right? So even though I said don't put too much, you want lots on these, this area. That's a lot of freaking paint, Vicky. So we'll brighter some of it off. Try to get it in your shape as best as you can. Okay, get it around that shape. I'm not gonna, do my whole background though. Kind of getting it around. So the first print I'm gonna do with, I'm gonna leave them on here. I'm gonna leave these on. Don't overwork it. Like Vicky's getting a little crazy, but um, you need it 
to be wet. So we're going to mist this. We're not going to soak it. If you wet it too much, it makes a big wet mess. So here we go. Let's see, because that is what Friday nights are not just for fighting. <laughs> Friday nights are for just trying the things because what do we got to lose? It's a piece of paper and our time. So you need to get in there and press, maybe get your fingers in to press around the pattern. Right? I don't know. Is it going to turn out good? Is it going to turn out like poop? We don't know. But this is the fun part. <gasps> okay. Tweezers, they're sticking. Okay. So I'm going to pull that off because I want them to stay on the plate. Oh my goodness. Wait till you see this. Wait for the reveal. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah baby isn't that freaking awesome i love that love it let's do one more so one more and then we're gonna lift these okay so one more with let's try it with tissue paper let's try it with tissue i'm gonna make this wetter because it's tissue and this tissue paper is very porous so let's see what am i gonna get I don't know, but it's certainly going to be worth trying and to find out. Oh, look at that. Can you see it already? Oh, my goodness, friends. I really hope you get as excited as I do. you got to try this stuff. What do you got to lose? Ready? Look how fun that is. So I'll let them dry and I'll show you guys again, okay? I'll let it dry and I'll show you again. Guess what I'm going to do now? I'm going to lift these. Try not to rip it because I'd like to use it again, possibly. And let's see what if we're going to get be able to pick this impression up. So set this aside, my little baby friend. And let's see what we get now. Don't know. Might get something, might not. It's worth trying. We're going to wet that and find Vicky needs to get more paper. Okay. There we go. Got to watch that your uh, brayer doesn't stick to your wet roll off sheet too. Hi, Debbie. How are you friend? I have not seen you in a long time. Seriously, look at that. Look at that. So this is what I have to say. What happened here, this paper is just cheap cardstock, right? Very porous. So do you see how the paint didn't sit on top? There's no sizing. There's no vellum finish on this. It's very porous. So the paint soaked right into that background. The paint soaked right into that background. So does it matter if you have die cuts? No, you could hand cut circles. You could hand cut a leaf, right? How fun is this? So let's keep going. I'm going to show you one where with a clean background. So at some point, you're not going to lift this paint off. So don't keep trying. It is not a gel plate. It's a sheet of plastic, right? Like we said, is it the frugal crafters gel plate? Because I don't, it's not necessarily, or the, what is a more positive? It is the, not innovative, innovative, but who, what do you call somebody, <laughs> again, Vicky's brain's not working, so now you guys got to give me the big words. So I want to say this is somebody who's like innovative, like are just like try new things, right? Right? Please make these available in your, guess what, Cindy? Cindy, guess what? I have been working on my collection that'll come out in the fall. You guys are going to freaking love it. So guess what the next, what I have to work on this week? Ready-made backgrounds. So I really resourceful, adventurous. I love that. Avant-garde. I love that resourceful crafters 100 percent right 
Um, I would love feedback on what you would like to see in the ready-made backgrounds. What would you like to see? I'll have to go through. Here is, I was going through my camera roll because my camera is is really full. I, I have 75,000 photos on my camera. Um, we have done so many mixed media backgrounds. Like seriously, some of you guys, you've been with me for, since the beginning, right? A lot of you guys have been with me since the beginning. Do you realize how much we've done? All the things we've learned? Do you pull things out of your toolbox or do you do it like a one-off with me and then you just don't do the things? So we really have to look. I'm going to start a post on the Vicki Booten Creative Community page on Facebook. If you have not joined that community group, I would love to have you there. Um, it's really hard these days to get the word out on the social medias. Like you just can't grow that kind of stuff. Um, but I want to start a thread of what you'd like to see, what color palettes you would like to see in a new ready-made background. Cause I'm going to be making it next week and I will, I double the art. I send it off to them and then, um, and then they pick the ones they want, but they can pick a pattern and they can change the color. So we need to do that. You go back and reuse the things we do all the time. I love that, Dion. Like we have done a deep, deep navy. Me too, Kristen. There'll be a deep, deep navy in this. Wait, wait till you see the next collection. Some of you guys who love, because you know the fall one is always earthier. Just be ready for it. Literally just be ready for it. And I have the next three collections already planned in my head. The next three the next three. It's going to be so good. Okay. So what do we think about that so far? Look what we got from that. I love the tissue paper. Can you imagine decoupaging that onto something else like a darker background? I don't even know where I put half my stuff that I pulled out tonight. I got black cardstock and navy and now I got to figure out where I put it. Oh, here, look at this grayish. I have this gray one, but you know what I'm saying? Like, so many awesome things will be able to come out of this when we work with these things. Love this one. So the first pull, how fun is that? How fun is that, right? So you could still stamp on this. You could put uh, something from last week onto this, right? I received my box of goodies today. Love everything. Grab bag stuff is crazy. Thanks. The foundation paper now. I love that. Burgundy and maroon. Yes. So don't tell me here because you guys know I'm not going to see this. So please, if you are not a member of the community, I will start a thread and please let me know what you'd like to see in the ready-made background. Because I am not sad when you guys give me ideas. It just makes the creating so much easier. Look at this one. Fun, right? That was... Ooh. Don't stick them on each other when they're wet, Vicki. This is a layer that will, I'm going to keep that. I'm going to do something else with that tonight. I love this one. Like what, that would be something like this and uh, would be great in the ready-made backgrounds, right? Because I love that in the ready-made backgrounds, there's texture. So all we would do on this is then we could still stencil with the new stencils that will come out with the collection. We could do lots of things, right? I love that. I love it. Okay, so let's do something on the darker background. This is going to be fun. So let's use some of the shapes that we cut. Okay, I have hearts. Hearts could be fun, right? Or there's leaves, but I have hearts. I punched and I just use my paper punches. You could use your dies, whatever you have. So let's do a heart background. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm just picking the hearts out. I did hearts, stars, and these little leaves. Circles. You could do circles here. And you could cut strips. Remember how we cut strips and did it in strips? Because this paper is all just going to be kind of mixed media fodder. 
that we can layer and do some fun things with later. So there's tons of hearts. Let's figure it out. Okay, hearts. What color palette are we going to do on this black? I have this pink. We could do pink and red could be fun, couldn't it? Pink and red on the gray. We'll see how that's going to work. Um, I have a little brain fart. Just give me a second here. Okay. So I am going to color my hearts off on this sheet here, and then I'm going to place them in the background that we do. Okay. So I am not going to make this too complicated because this would actually be better with a bigger piece. But let's see. Let's see if Vicky is going to be crazy with doing this or if it'll work. We'll see. We're going to try it because what have we got to lose? So I'm going to put paint on these and I'm going to roll on it. Be prepared because, oh, you know what? Instead of brayering on them, maybe I'll just drag them in the paint and place them. So that's what I'm going to do because to brayer on these are all going to stick on the brayer. They're going to roll around it like my daughter's hair on the vacuum cleaner. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? When I go to vacuum and I actually have to give my hair, my vacuum cleaner a haircut because I swear she's creating minions. So I'm going to put pink paint here. I'm going to brayer the paint on the sheet. Can you guys see that? And I'm going to press the hearts into it. I'm going to do a red background on here and place it. Gold would be awesome. So I'm going to get my paint ready and brayer that on and wet it. Got to work pretty fast. So have all of your things ready. I have my black cardstock ready. I am going to wet my paint. I'm going to brayer that on here. Ooh, watch Vicky. That could look like a crime scene. Be careful. Red can kind of look like a crime scene. That is too much paint. Okay, just be aware. What Vicky just did is too much. So I'm going to do this. Take some of that off. And take some more of it off. That was way too much paint. Acrylic goes very far, right? So you don't want... It's like when we do our gel plate, right? You don't want a lot of uh, paint when you're doing a print. So let's take some of that off, but you don't want it too dry either. Okay, I feel like that's good. Bleeding hearts, yeah. Hi, Jennifer. I'm gonna mist that so it stays nice and wet. Now it is on plastic, so it shouldn't dry very quickly. I'm going to brayer out this pink and I'm going to press my hearts into it. So this is on a second sheet. Okay, I'll keep that ready. I'm going to press the hearts into it and I'm going to place them texture side in the paint. And, ooh, it actually, even if you don't get paint on all of it, it's going to be kind of cool. And then I'm just going to put them down where they fall. And let's do that again. And then we're going to mist those hearts because remember, it is um, paper. So it's very porous. So let's see what we get. Ooh, got to work pretty fast, but I think it's going to be really awesome. And hopefully it works on the gray, that the gray is not too dark. Let's do the things, Vicky. I'm very excited about this. I think it's going to turn out really nicely. So hopefully I'm not completely wrong. Hopefully I'm not completely wrong. What shapes are you guys working with? Are you, anybody doing this with me tonight? Irene, I'm sure you are doing some version of it, right? Um, 
be a golden do do do. I'm not looking at your comments right now, okay? I'm doing the, the things. So if I'm missing anything, I apologize. Um, Got to move pretty fast here. You noticing I'm moving pretty fast. So I'm not being really um, detailed in the pattern. And that is totally okay because I could do this and then revisit it, right? If I'm like, oh, I should have done this or this would have looked nice. That can always be in the second go. Okay, a couple more and let's go for it and hope for the best. This technique is worth it when it works, but it doesn't always work 100%. Sometimes it takes a couple practices. One more, one more, let's do it. Okay, so now you have to add water onto these because we need the paint to release off the paper. So let's make sure they're wet enough. Hopefully it's going to transfer. Now wish me luck. Not too much water or it's not going to do anything. And we're going to see what's it going to look like on gray. I'm very excited. Now this is acrylic paint, so it should transfer because it is pretty opaque, right? You're praying that my heart's bleed onto the monoprint. Thank you, Natalie. And then we can do something with this. So I'm going to mist on this too. So we don't waste that paint we just put down, okay? Because this is on a sheet of acrylic. I don't want to waste that, so we'll wet that. We're going to wipe our breaker off a little bit. And I'm going to give it one hard press. Now, when I flip this, those hearts are probably going to be stuck onto the paper, right? Yep. Ooh, I don't know if this worked, friends. I might have to do a white one next. We'll see, okay? I don't think it transferred very nicely, but we'll try. We'll see. I should have done it on white. But I want this to stay wet. Might get something. Might get something. We'll see when it dries. But I think the red wasn't, um, it would have been better with yellow or something. So. We don't quit. We'll see what we can get. The pink is working. So I'm just removing the hearts. And we'll see. You got to move pretty fast because they will glue to your background, right? So there's something. We'll see what happens when it dries. There's something. I want water on here because I would really like that pattern to transfer. And now I'm going to place those hearts back down, kind of around. We're going to really wet it. And then we're going to press really freaking hard on the white paper. So now I'm just kind of randomly placing these. They are still wet. So I think we should be able to get a pretty cool pattern. We'll see what happens. Not all of them, because, right, not a ton of working time here. Okay, Natalie, pray for me while you drink your coffee. Let's wet this sucker. Not a lot of paint left, so we can. Okay, we're going to go in with white and see what we get. <gasps> oh, foundations. And I'll tell you why I'm using foundations, because I think the coating on this paper will work in my favor so those hearts don't glue to the background. Let's see what we get. Okay. We're going to have to kind of give her. Because we're really trying to force that acrylic paint to do something. And part of it could be partially dry. Don't play with this too long. you got to apply some pressure. Move around the hearts a little bit. Let's lift it. Wish me luck. Let's flip it. Oh, let's see. What are we going to get? We could get something pretty. It could look like poo-poo. 
I love it. Just so you know. Now these hearts are done, right? When you take them off, but you got to move. Got to move. Oh my goodness. I love this. I left my son. It's playing his video games like they do. See, paper starting to kind of come apart, but your tweezers will come in handy. Some of it would be kind of cool to leave that, right? Um, he's up there gaming and I can hear him and he's like two floors up yelling. And these kids all wear headphones. <laughs> so I'm sure sometimes it's blasting, right? Them in the ear. Can I try something? Sure I can, right? I wet that hurt. I'm going to see if I can't just roller some because they're all kind of like polka dots, right? Because I was hoping I could pick up part of the pattern that didn't happen. So I'm going to see if we can't. What happens now when we press these on here and try to make an impression? Will we be able to pick anything up? I don't know, but I'm going to try. Oh, that one is dead. That one is dead. Okay, let's see what's going to happen. Where are you, Brayer? Your son is doing the exact same thing. So I'm going to press these in here and see what we get. Nothing. Not enough paint. Oh, I stamped that one. Not really anything. There wasn't enough. Oh, that one there was. This one there will be. Yeah. So is this a total win? Meh. But what it will be is a layer for me to add other things on top of, right? To stamp on, to stencil on. Maybe it's connected to the same game as your son. I don't know. What's he playing now? League of Legends? Do you guys, that's what he's playing right now. Or that's what he talked about this week. I don't know if it's League of Legends could be Thursday nights and something else on, on uh, Friday. I don't know. But he's up there yelling so loud. I can hear him all the way down here. <laughs> Whatever. You do you, Rye. You do you. Okay. So... Remember what we have here? Let's do something with this little baby. Okay. So here's another thing that I do. Yep. Sounds like they are in the same game ring. Wouldn't that be awesome that our kids are connecting just like we are on their video games and we're making the arts. Okay. So I'm, I grab my other sheet, right? We have paint on here. I am going to put some paint on my little leavies and we're gonna add this to the background. Okay, so I'm gonna brayer paint on here and I'm gonna press them in there and we're gonna do another lift on white. So what color? I'm wetting it just so they stick down, right? And then I'm gonna brayer some paint on here. Let's try, what about gold? I'm gonna grab my gold glaze if I can find it. Here's some gold glaze. I'm going to use some gold glaze. I have so much of this, the iridescent and the silver, that I'm going to be putting in the store. Just so you know, Riley's girlfriend has been here doing inventory. And next week, we're going to work on getting it all in the store. Because I said, I have all this new stuff coming. I need to get rid of the stuff I haven't had time to put up. So be ready for it. Art crane. Oh, that's the other thing that's in the grab box. Every grab box has four packs of art crayons. Meaning um, they're used. Some are brand new. But what I did is I put them in there because um, they're class sets. 
So if you want to do some really dirty mixed media with broken art crayons, they will be your friend. So every one of those grab boxes has art crayons in it. Okay. Hey, let's see. I think this is going to be awesome. So color goes up when you put these down, okay? The color goes up, not down. Color goes up, not down. Because we're going to put water on it and we're going to try to pick up the impression. And hope for the best. Let's hope for the best. Let's try it. I'm going to do it with foundation. You know what? I'm going to do it with cardstock. I'm going to do it with just plain old cardstock. Because I think that the por porousness, the porousness will be good. And I don't care that my brayer is dirty. Because we're just going to pick that up. And we're hoping for the best. Is it going to transfer? But I think the porousness of this paper will help your pigment transfer better than on the foundations paper. This is one of those live and learn. Let's see what happens. Okay. I'm sitting down. I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh my goodness. I love that so freaking much. Let's do another one. I'm going to go grab another piece of paper. Okay. Love it so much. Oh, here, let's try this. It's kind of watercolor paper. So just a little bit of, I'm going to water the paper. I'm not going to water the background because it's on the plastic. I want to pick up as much of that as possible. Let's see. Yeah, try watercolor paper, Sandra. Now the paper's textured, so you have to really press to see. Did you notice I pressed, I put water on the paper. I did not. And I'm going to water this background. Let's see. Can we get something out of where I brayered the gold? I don't know, but we'll try. Okay. Oh my goodness. Wait, you're going to love this, Sandra. It is very, very subtle, but let's get your fingers in here and let's pick up as much of that pigment. Um, I think you're going to freaking love this. You ready? Look at that. Remember, this is on like a watercolor textured paper. I'm going to try for one more and then I'm going to lift those and see what I get. Okay. So I'm going to try for one more because this is really pretty. Not a ton of water, but a lot of pressure. Oh, let's try this. Book paper. Is there enough pigment? I don't know. But we're going to try. Press really hard. We're trying to squeeze as much of that paper or pigment out. And if it doesn't work, we're okay with that. I'm pressing around to pick up as much shape. But this is old um, books. Oh, very subtle. Maybe I should have done that one first, but it's cool. Now let's lift these and see, is there anything left? I don't know. And I'm going to keep these because if you don't tear it, you should be able to use it again. Okay. I'm putting it on the gold and I'm going to see if we transfer some of that pink and then we'll lift it because there's pink on the background, right? Do you see that? There's pink there. Let's lift that. Are we going to get any of it? I don't know. Don't wet it too much. If you put too much water on that, guess what's not going to happen? You won't pick it up. I'm going to put it on here. And I'm gently picking it up so the paper absorb or water absorbs into the paper. And then I'll roll it. I don't want, if you would have went and rolled it right away, you might squeeze the water in or out of the pattern. And really, we want it to kind of kiss to the paper first, be in contact. 
And then let's see, are we going to transfer that pattern? We might, and we might not, right? This is what we, not really. Okay. Didn't really, didn't really, but I don't hate it. It didn't really, but I don't hate it. So let's try one more time with just some cheap paper. I'm going to wet it, the paper. I don't want it, see, I don't want it really wet. There we go. Let's see. Can I pick any of that up? Thank you, Jerry. Yes. Please um, thumbs up the video. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do that. And after the video is done, or if you're watching after the fact, please leave a comment. All of your interactions on these videos and any way that you can comment or do any of the things is super helpful um, in friends finding us, right? So not much, but I'll take it. But it's dry now. We're done. We worked that one to death. But I'm going to put this here. Let's see. So let's, can we pick up any of this gold? Is it still wet enough? I don't know. I'm going to try right on this piece of paper because what do I got to lose? Let's press it in there. Oh, yeah. Now, do you see those? I'm hoping something magical happened because I can see the pattern through here. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Question. I was looking for the iridescent one today to buy and could not find it. Is there a way to add a button on your shop that says see all so you don't have to hunt and peck? Um, I'm going to clean up my whole website, Paula. I'm working on it. But there again, one Vicky trying to do all the things um, because I would like it to be just easier to, to manage a maneuver, right? So uh, it's coming. Uh, and I haven't added because there again, if I put stock up in my store, I have to fill orders and I'm not in um, a position to do that right now. So it will be coming. Okay. Oh my goodness. Look at that. All it's doing is pressing the pink that is actually behind that into that paper. Let's do another one. Let's layer it right on top. Let's see how many. And I'm going to fold it a little. How many impressions can I get? Oh, I love that. Look at, let's do one more. And like this. Got to press. I'm standing up now so I can press as much pigment out of that as possible. Oh, my goodness. This is so pretty, friends. Do it again. I will share... Uh, Natalie, this tissue paper is not actually tissue paper. It's some kind of Japanese writing paper. Um, I ordered, when I did my gel plate class, I ordered a whole bunch of different papers. I'm going to leave this now, right? I don't want to overwork. Let's see if we can pick up some of this gold, though. Oh my goodness, this is going to decoupage so beautifully when this dries. Do you see that? Can you see those? How awesome is this? And you would have peeled this all off and totally thrown it in the garbage. But it is doing this amazing, a new technique that I just discovered messing around. So I'm putting this somewhere to dry and I will share it with you. I'm literally throwing it on the floor because I ran out of real estate. These are really wet, okay? Um, but I'd like to use them again. So I'm going to try to gently 
Guess what we're going to get? One more print. All that pink is still underneath there. Let's try it. Let's try it. What do we got to lose? Okay, grabbing a piece of this. Let's see, can we pick that up? I don't know. I'm gonna try though. It might be dry, so we might get nothing. Oh my goodness, we didn't get nothing. Look at that. Look at that. Again? And it has gold in it. It is so pretty. This to me, my friends, is magic is happening here tonight. This you never know on a Friday night live. Sometimes magic happens. And I really feel like for me, who does this stuff all the time, I'm sitting here going like the wheels are just a turning, right? The wheels are turning. Um as we play, I'm seeing all these magical things that are happening just from literally messing around with that sheet and just going, okay, it's just a piece of paper. I'm just going to throw that like little piece of plastic on or uh, the second plastic that was actually the, the sheet we rolled on. And I'm going to pick up something off of that. I got to clean these because that one is still the dirty one from underneath. I will show you the paper. It, oops, it is this. Artec, Artec, oh, Techo Chinese calligraphy paper. Can you guys see that? It is amazing. Look at that pad. It's calligraphy paper. I ordered it on Amazon. It's just a sheet of paper, Stacy, 100%. But wait till we review the things we just made. And like I said, do, you don't want super detailed patterns. You could do full backgrounds for scrapbook pages. You could do little sheets that you can uh, die cut out of or stamp on. I'm just, because this sheet of plastic uh, should be good for you for the rest of your, um, what do we call it? Resourceful crafting crafters, right? So that's why I have to get that gel plate. Is the gel plate class up? It is not gel plate one, is it? Is it in my store? I think it is. It's not the photography class is not. You need to take that class because uh, gel plate two is going to happen this fall. It's going to happen this fall and you need gel plate one that shows you the papers that I bought and all of the things that I did because gel plate two is going to, if you love printmaking, it's going to be awesome. You guys are going to love it. Let's look at what we made. Let's look at just what just happened in that little sesh. So I'm trying to, oh, and guess what? These are going to dry and I'm going to totally use them as art. They're beautiful. Look. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? On brown. And I would never use brown. Are you using acrylic paints and what size brayer are you using? Leslie, I love my Liquitex. I have my Liquitex. I have my Deco Art. Uh, fluid acrylics. I have my deco art paints. I really love these because they are a heavier body. Um, awesome on your gel plate. When I put this in the store, it is magical. It is discontinued from American Crafts, but I have cases of it. When it gets listed, the gold, the silver, and the iridescent, you will want them. This medium is super awesome. I wish that they'd let me do other colors. I wish they would continue this, but American Crafts isn't a mixed media company. It's more of a one and done, 
right? They bring something out and it's done that I've had this around as long as I did. I was very lucky, but I have to say the art crayons and the creative effects glazes are super phenomenal product and very inexpensive for what it does for you. So when I post those and the last art crayons that I have, when I do the store restock friends, there are so many videos to support that. I'm just telling you they're done. There are similar products, like lots of things that work like them, but I'd say you want to add those to your creative toolbox. Uh, Cause those glazes are really awesome. Right. That gold. I love the gold. You use it a lot. Me too. Right. Um, okay, let's look at what did we do there? What was the first one? I don't even remember, but look at this when it dries. Cause see, I'm going to, I'm going to do something. So I'll wreck it or it's going to be awesome, but see that gob of paint. I don't want that on there. So I picked it up. That makes me happier. But look at that background. How fun is this? So we did this one. And then what do we do next? I think we did. Did we do the book paper next? I don't know. Let's look. What do we have? Look at all the prints that we got. Oh, this one. Do you remember? This was with the textured paper. Can you see how awesome that is? And then we did the book paper which look at now as it's drying, it's freaking awesome. Love that. Uh, we did this one with just a piece of pattern paper that we uh, rolled on the leaves on the gold. What other, where's the gold? Didn't we do a gold one? I've thrown them all over my room, so I can't find them. This one was off of the dirty sheet that we picked up. Love that. This one is not dry yet, but when it is, oh my goodness, it's going to be super califragilistic. Look at that one. When it dries, it's going to be super califragilistic. See, I have to whisper talk because it's so good. It's going to be good. And that was just pressing, pressing, pressing. So yes, this is Japanese calligraphy paper. So it is textured, but it has, um, it is a lot less forgiving than tissue paper is. So it is great for your gel plate as well. Okay. Uh, what else do we do? Let's look. Oh yeah. Remember we picked this one up off the plate. It's kind of a hot mess, but it's potential that I could still stencil and do things on top of it. Um, oh, our hearts. I, I don't hate this. I like this side of it. This side just looks like somebody got injured. Red is a hard one, man. Red is hard. Look at this one. Look at this tissue one. Love it. And this one. And this was our first. And don't forget this baby. That's totally art, right? So let's do one more, one more. I, I love this though. I have to tell you, I'm gonna do a whole bunch of backgrounds like this. Some kind of version of this is gonna end up in the ready-made backgrounds because I really, really love that. Like that to me is just a whole bunch of potential, right? Any color, palette you would like me to do something in and I will do one more session do you want circles do you want me to do one with circles I have circles I have many leaves I have stars so you guys tell me I'm going to grab a whole bunch of papers and we're going to do one more black okay let's do it what do you want with the black Natalie black and gold do you want me to do a black and gold one Black and gold could be good because we need some neutrals. How about black and gold with circles? We have gold. Guess what I have right here, Nat? Black. Um, I have book paper. I have some tissue. I have all of my papers that are left. And I'm going to do circles. 
So let me grab one of my card stocks. So let's punch. I'm gonna punch bigger circles so it may it's not doesn't take as long. Okay. Bigger circles. Getting all my stuff ready. Getting myself set up. This is going to be fun. The circles are going to be fun. And I feel like anybody can use circles, right? So let me just find a piece of cardstock to punch some circles. Black and gold. Not black and yellow, black and yellow. It's going to be black and gold. Oh, I am so excited. This is very fun. Okay, found a piece of paper. I have a two inch circle punch. You know why I like a circle? Because I could still layer. I could still layer in that circle. Could you use this piece that you punched out of? You sure could. So we'll keep it handy. So I make it almost like a little stencil out of pattern paper. Cause let's go up this side. I'm going to trim part of that off because it can't go. Well, how deep can I go in? Oh, maybe. I'll try it. Oh, I love it. Okay. So we have circles and we have circles we punched out of. So these are the two things I'm going to use. Okay, we'll see you later, Kristen. So we have black, we have gold. We are cleaning up a little bit. Okay. I have some foundations paper. I'm going to get a sheet of cardstock. So are you ready? Who's going to do this one with me? I hope you do it with me. Let's get a sheet of white cardstock. Ooh. Ooh. Let's try it. So it is a uh, texture cardstock, okay? I really think textured cheaper white cardstock is magic on this with this technique because it is porous. It's going to pick up the paint so it doesn't smoosh on your background. Does that make sense? That was a golden nugget right there. It's porous, so when we press it into the print, it picks the moisture and sucks it, the paint in. So the pattern stays stable. If we put foundations paper on, it has that kind of ice rink on top. So the paint kind of sits on top and smooshes around. It doesn't absorb right away. So it is, when you're playing, make sure that you do some of these backgrounds with a porous cardstock. I think that um, you will see what I'm talking about. You will see the results. So this is going to be what I bring do things on. And then, where did I put the other one? Where did I put you? Foundations paper cover on the floor here it is okay this is what happens when we get working okay so i am going to do the same idea circles up a side because i love that then the other side is just opportunity right so i am going to put my circles down and i'm going to cover them in gold and i'm going to put them on a black background okay so I am going to put some paint on here. Not much, it's black, right? I am going to take my circles with my double-sided tape. I'm gonna tack them down and I'm gonna brayer gold over top of my circles, then place them, okay? So again, texture side up, repositionable tape, Tweezers are ready to rumble. I know these need to have a fair amount of paint on them. So in this case, gold glaze. 
Okay, it's good. Can you guys see everything? Yep, stuff is falling all over now. Now it's getting messy up in here. Okay, so you see what I'm doing? I'm just tacking them down just a little bit of repositionable tape. Can I tell you though, what's this gonna be too? It's gonna be another background. So I'm gonna do two things here. So be aware of where you're putting these circles down because this is also gonna be a background and this lifts, right? It is going to be a background, too. Because the gold will also, right, make a pattern. It's going to be fun, right? So I'm going to take my palette knife. Okay. So my thought is that I want to do one all black and then pick it up off of here because I don't well, no, we won't. I'll just go with white. There's other opportunities other days, right? Other opportunities other days. This is going to be our last session for tonight, okay? So let's put some gold down. I'm going to put it right here like this around the circles. I'm going to mist it, and I'm going to brayer this. I'm going to pick those circles up and put it in the black paint we're creating on this side, okay? So let's get this ready to rumble. And these are those situations where we look at, and would it have been better to just bring her on the side and bring her on the circles? Don't know. So I'm gonna just try the things, cause what do I got to lose? Nothing. It's just paper and my time. But I do wanna get these circles pretty covered. Okay. If there's not enough gold glaze on them, uh, it's not going to transfer. So you could even, maybe, we need to Let's keep them wet. Maybe a little bit more right on the circles. Let's try. Will that help? Put a little glaze right on them. And brayer that on. Maybe that would have been even better, right? Don't know. Can try it. Oh, Riley must have had to go to his girlfriend's now. Ooh, that's as much time as she allowed him to play on the video games. And then it's Friday night, it's date night, right? Let's try that now. I'm gonna brayer that on a little. Ah! See what happens? Be careful. Vicky's getting crazy up in here. No. Don't mess with my vibe circles. And this shows you about the overworking stuff, right? That I just got crazy. Hopefully I didn't ruin everything. We'll see. No, I didn't ruin everything. But it is what it is. They're starting their paper, right? Okay, wipe this gold off. Let's spread that black. Let's put the gold thing circles in. So two things can happen here. So because I am crazy and I just do the things, I'm noticing a couple things that can happen here. So we're gonna brayer that black out. This is for Natalie. A lot of black. So let's find a sheet to brayer off on. Okay, and I've run out of real estate. Okay. Okay, we're good. So can I show you something? And take this, and I'm gonna quickly do this. Still, 
place those. Oh, my goodness, look at that. Okay, that's one. Let's get in here and press these in. Where do we want them? Put them down. Ooh, do you see what just happened there? Put it in, move it a little bit, look it. So I got a little drag mark where the extra gold kind of was, right? Okay, we're going to see. Are these going to be uh, transfer very much? I don't know. We'll see. I think it's going to be really awesome, though, to be honest with you. Look it. And drag. See? Look at that. And drag. Okay, one more like that. Okay? Missed this a little bit. Not too much because that's going to be a print and this is going to be a print okay i'm so excited for this this first print is going on my first sheet of cheaper cardstock here we go i'm not going to press too hard because there is a lot of black paint on here I just want a slight impression, but I do need to get around the circles. So just make sure you kind of rub around the circles or the paint might not transfer. Okay, tweezers are ready. Oh my goodness. Natalie, you're gonna freaking love this. Here we go. Look at that. Oop. Now, a lot less paper. So take your circles. Well, just go keep keep working. Keep working. Mist. Because this paint's starting to dry. So now this one should be very, very pretty. Let's try it. This one I'm going to press hard right? Press hard. Don't forget we have this magic over here too. Okay, let's give her. I really want as much to transfer as possible. I know these circles are going to very much stick to this paper. Rubbing around, so I'm picking up as much pigment around the raised bits, which are circles. Okay, let's see. Oh my goodness. Are you ready? Very subtle. Look at that. Very subtle and beautiful. Okay. We're going to go. Mm, I'm going to try one more. I'm going to try. Oh, the tissue. The tissue. I need a bigger piece. It is very porous, so let's put lots of water down. Mm, I don't know. I'm gonna wet the back too. It is forgiving too. Let's really. Oh my goodness! Do you see it happening? It's gonna be good.
Okay. Let's lift these and see if we get, we should get, oh, and don't let this gold dry. We should still get a print. There should be a little bit of black behind these. Let's see. Okay, move fast. Move fast, Vicki. I'm hoping this is gonna transfer. I am so hoping this is gonna transfer. Okay, we're gonna try to get it to. Lots of water. Ooh, get your thing. Oh no, no cardstock. Okay. What do we have? This is that watercolory paper. Okay, so I'm going to put it on there, soft ish. Give her pressing very hard. I sandwiched because if anything um, comes up, I'm gonna, I want it. I want it on here. Look at just that. Okay. Very soft. This was, this was not a good choice. That was not a good choice. I'm hoping I can still get this on that foundations paper. Let's try it. Flip the sandwich. Can you see what I'm trying to get to transfer? Let's be forceful here. Okay. One more flip. Ooh Look how fun that is. Love it. Okay. I really wish on a gel plate we would have been able to get those to transfer. Can't on plastic. We can't on plastic. But let's do this um, strategically. I have gold everywhere. So I'm going to flip this and we're going to kiss it to that. And because it's clear plastic, guess what we can do? Totally decide where it's going to go. I have not been a good cleaner of my tools tonight. So, okay. I am going to put this. <laughs> on here. And we're going to hope for the best. Ready? Hoping for the best. Let's clean up our mess a little bit. I'm putting this paper towel here because as I brayer, Juice is squishing out. The juice is squishing out. I put a lot of paper on this, uh, water on this. I'm hoping I didn't ruin everything, but we'll see. <laughs> I'm letting it marinate too before I lift it. Oh, that is doing some magical things. And let's hope Vicky's not leaving it too long and it's not gluing to the paper. Okay, let's go. Lift it, Vicky. This is subtle and beautiful. Can you see the little rings? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. 
So we can't get that off. It dried, right? So I got the hint of it off. But you will be able to clean that off and use the sh your sheet again. Right? See, it should lift. If I can do that, I should be able to get it off. But we're not going to mess around too much. See? So you clean it off. Get your double-sided adhesive off. And this is good to use another day. Okay? So let's try one more thing. So I'm going to take now these circles and I'm going to wet them. see if I can't force some of that pigment out of here. I think I should be able to. Okay, let's try it. What do we got to lose? I'm going to put this down just so. Oh, I'm going to lift that for a minute, though, actually. Ooh. Ooh. Wait till you see what's happening here. Just because it's pressing the uh, moisture around. Let's do this instead. So could you put the tissue on top of it to pick that pattern up? We could, but right, Irene, we also can use our dirty paper towels. Look at that. I have one more piece of tissue. Let's see what we can get doing that. And don't do that. Look at that. Don't do that either, but we'll go with that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, let's lift these and see if I ruined it. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I just squeezed it out, right? Look it. I hope you guys get what I'm saying. You would have thrown them out. You would have thrown them out. So let's revisit what we created here. Let's revisit it all with quick cleanup, 10 second tidy. And then we're going to look at the things because I don't want to put all my pretty art now in a mess. So sorry, I'm banging stuff around. Oh my goodness, for you guys that hung out, stuck around. If you're watching after the fact, magic happens on Friday nights. And when I started this, I had no clue any of this was going to happen. Okay? Let's find the first one. Where did you put it, Vicki? Oh, here's the first one. Lovely. Look at that. Totally lovely. So... Let's do a post-mortem. So something I noticed, I should, if I would have used less water on here, 
I wouldn't have had this pooling effect, excuse me, effect. And I know I would try this technique again with less water. So this was the first pull. Then I went in and went, let's do a second one again. Do you see where the water, I didn't get this effect, but it doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It just is one of those things when I look at it and go, okay, I love this. What would I try differently the next time? I think I try a little less water because right here, um, I would have liked if it had this kind of distressy effect. So that is pull number two. Then look at, this was off of our gold sheet where we, oh my goodness, can you see that? So the gold sheet where we had brayered the circles before we layered them on. So I had cleaned my brayer off and then took the brayer cleaning sheet and just kissed it to the gold, okay? Kissed it to the gold. And then we went in, oh my goodness, look at this. And it's not dry yet. This is awesome sauce right here. Like awesome sauce, look it. That was pressing the tissue and crumpling it into this. Is that the front side? You could use either side. Look at that. Freaking love this. Like, really? I'd have to say this is one of the best Vicky Booten things I have taught you. I'd have to say this is definitely right now in my recent top 10, maybe even top five. Like, so much magic is happening tonight. We could really make this into tissue paper you could uh, purchase and use to decoupage to layer in your journals. This is why, you know, you guys that are looking at the cruises and you go with the scrapbook cruise and you go, I'm not gonna do the mixed media cruise cause I'm a paper crafter. What am I gonna do with this stuff? I will blow your mind with how you could use this in your scrapbooks. This is a sheet. Literally you would have wiped all that up with a paper towel and I didn't quit. We didn't quit. Look what we got. And then there's one more here somewhere. Oh, look it. Look at the paper towel. Look at the paper towel. Oh my goodness, texture, paper, love it. Here's one that's kind of ghostly. It'll be a layer for something else, but it's because the paper had so much texture. It's like a watercolor paper, right? And then look at this one. Can you see that? This is just magic waiting to happen. We could sew on this, do so many things, right? So. And then, so we did this, and then we had a pink and yellow fun party too, right? So when all these dry, I'm going to have a ton of art that I can layer other things on. I could use as a scrapbook background. I will run all of these through my, um, what's that thing called? My mink later to flatten them out, or you could put them underneath once the paint is dry. You could put these, I love this one with that kind of like smushed effect. Can you see that? I don't know how uh, detailed this is. See? Like this side of it, don't like this side. This is one of those that I can, I like the pink side, don't like the other side. But look at all that, friends. Look what we made tonight. And really, this is just kind of impromptu. I And I love that, which was just the first one. So what are your thoughts? What are you liking? What are your thoughts? Are you going to try this? Thank you for sticking around, because I know we probably lost about 100 people, because it's a late one. Well, not really. It's no later than any of the ones I do. I'm going to flip the camera and let's talk. Do you have questions? Now is the time. You've got me, my undivided attention. So I'm just adjusting my light so I can look at you. And let's talk about what just happened. Here we go. Hi. Oh my goodness, that was the best. Let's see if you can get like a better, I, I can't pile them all because they're not necessarily dry. I want you to see. Ooh, Look at that. That's gold glaze. I'm telling you, it's magical. It's majestical. This is the Natalie one that she loved. Oops, trying not to rip it because it's still wet. 
I want you guys to see the detail on that. Can you see it? It's going to be hard because it's so light. But love that. I really, really, really love this one as it dries. That last one that we did. Because I won't use some of these as a full 12 by 12. I'll, I'll cut pieces out of it or strips. I can still stencil on top. I could use this and print one more time. I could use this on my gel plate. I could use paint markers and I can doodle all over it. Question, would your neon paints work well? Yes, I've done it before. If you look back through Friday Night Lives, I think I did a mono print with the neon paints. Uh, I don't know where any of my backgrounds are, but yes, neon works awesome with everything. Neon is magic. It's why I brought those paints out, what now, a couple of years ago? Love, love, love them. And I have more of them. I will be adding them. I cleared out when American Crafts was going to get rid of them. I bought all the inventory. So it's all here in my house. So all of my stuff is, is going to go up. Question, are you coming to Australia anytime soon? I am, but you'd have to travel. I will be in Adelaide in November. I will be going to Natalie Mays and it is going to be a big, huge, awesome event. I'm also doing two cruises out of Brisbane and I believe there's spots left on there because some people had to cancel. So you could reach out to um, CAD, Creative Adventures Down Under, Michelle, uh, if you want to do the cruise or you could maybe plan a little trip and come and see me in Adelaide at Natalie May's store because it might be the only time I'm ever there. So Australia is November. I think that's in November. So definitely uh, try that. Oh, it's going to be so good. Can't wait to try the things you did tonight. I love that, Chandra. Like, I really go into this. So when you're going to try this, because, you know, you you probably saw this. We didn't have a ton of, of watchers here tonight because they're probably like, I don't even have a clue what this is. What is this? And how many tools did you need? Did you, did you really have to go out and buy anything? Or could you try this with stuff you have around the house? Probably. But magic happened. And for me, I don't care if I burnt all of these. I find value and wealth in the experience of just doing it. You know what I mean? Like artists would make their paintings and sell them because once, once that kind of magic comes out of you as a creative person onto a piece of paper, I feel like I released the demons and I can move on to the next thing, right? So I really want to get you in that in that whole kind of vibe of that this is so much fun. It's so much fun. I don't even care if I make anything with them, but these all will go in a huge pile. What I'm gonna start doing that I see some of my creative friends do is I should take these, cut them up and sell them as mixed media stacks on my store so that you guys could buy them if you wanted them and use them in your art because I think that's fun, right? What are this plastic sheets called? Bobby, it is, Back in the day, do you remember when you'd make packaging? Like it was a big thing to score the plastic and then you could make like little clear things you could put gumballs in. I bought it back then. But I think if you go on Amazon, you could probably find Mylar, um, but it needs to be heavy, like a heavier plastic. Um, back in the day when we had overhead projectors, right? It's that kind of plastic. It's the weight of that. But if you buy one of my pads of foundations paper, the white one, it comes with a clear sheet on top of it that you totally could use. Like I, every pad I use, I keep the clear sheets because I can use them on mini books. I can use them for lots, just for palettes, like for mixing my paints. So definitely worth it. I just love the process of making. Yes, Shelly, just the pure joy of discovery through literally going, whatever, I'm going to throw this on here and let's see what happens. But you need to be an observer. That I think you learn the most is literally by looking at, critiquing, observing, going, oh, I'm going to tweak this and what will happen. If you're a, an amazing baker, right? You make cinnamon rolls the first time and you're like, mm, next time, I'm going to put a little bit more brown sugar in it. Or wouldn't these be awesome with candy pecans? So art 
and the whole pursuit of artful techniques is literally being like an observer in this awesome world of making. So definitely give it a try. So question, old uh, cricket mat covers would work, sure. Or the covers, right? The, the plastic on top of it. You just need something. And the whole idea with the acetate or the plastic sheet is it's completely non-porous, but stable and stiff enough that you can really get your muscles in there. So that's why the plastic is awesome. I'm catching the end. Went to bingo. I love it, Sandy. Did you, Candy, did you win? Did you win? Did you get to yell bingo? Uh, it Bingo causes me anxiety. Well, one... I have a, a, a bingo horror story when I went with my mom and dad and we were playing the bonus cards, you know, where it's not in your book. It's a bonus card and I'm playing my card and I'm like, oh my goodness, I have one number, one number left and I'm going to have a full card. I'm going to win like the jackpot, like holy man. And don't they call whatever, B5, whatever it is, bingo, ah, so excited. And my mom looks and she goes, thank you the wrong card there was almost a riot in the bingo hall people take their bingo seriously i played the dark purple instead of the royal blue really it should never have worked because you have to call the number out they verified it and went good bingo put all the balls back in and i almost got lynched in the bingo hall never ever again will i play bingo people were swearing at me I, I was as whatever the age is that you're allowed to play bingo because it's gambling 18 here 17 whatever I almost got lynched in the bingo hall so never again never again I'm done I tried that one time and I'm good now so yeah I was a bingo caller for a nonprofit for six years and yes it's so serious right but they closed it they called a good bingo however then I'm sure my incident made them reform the whole way that that works because I'm sure people could cheat somehow, right? I was not cheating. I didn't know. But really, they had to call like supervisors to figure out how to fix it. People were swearing at me. I was crying. <laughs> it was traumatic. I'm, I'm still traumatized by bingo. So if you say bingo near me and I start to twitch, you'll know why, right? So tonight was super fun. Loved it. What was the hello? What was the hello from? Which hello, uh, Deborah? Where did I use hello? I don't know. Um, <laughs> love you, Vicky. Yes, they take it serious. Yeah, right. Um, oh, it's from my new the hello. Like that was like four days ago, right? At the beginning, I talked so much. It's from my new collection. Where to next with American Crafts? It's in the chipboard. So let's. I'll show you another thing too. Do I have it here? Oh, I can't show you another thing. It's on the other side of the room. There's chipboard frames too. It, I'm telling you, this collection is really awesome. And you don't have to be going on vacation to use it. There's lots of things that are like beach, tropical related, around town, like lots of fun things. So um, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. So yes, it's from my new collection. Any questions before I leave you? Thank you for joining me. Uh, I know for some of you that maybe don't interact as much as the with the community part, you're like, holy man, these are too long. I really want when I can get the help to do these in like short videos. Like this one to me needs to be turned into like a short, like five, 10 minute video where I can just speed through the process. Um, I think those teasers will get people to come to the longer sessions, right? So it's good. Uh, is that good, friends? Any other questions? Love the chipboard frames. Me too. Got to watch replay and order my kit. Okay, so remember, um, I didn't get the jackpot, Debbie. They uh, they should have given it to me. That's what a lot of people said is you called good bingo and closed it. You should have given it. What they ended up doing is gave everybody one card. Uh, it was in Fort Erie, Ontario, Canada, which is right on the border of Buffalo. So they made the jackpot in US dollars. And at that time, like now, it was like 40% uh, more or whatever. Our dollar wasn't very good. And they did another bingo. And the lady who won it came and gave me a whole bunch of scratch cards and said, I'm so sorry that people were yelling at you. And then they had to 
pretty much escort me after bingo to the car because people were cursing me out as we left the bingo hall. It was a terrible experience, really terrible experience. But no, I did not get the jackpot. Um, oh, yes, Julie. Did you, so here, because, you know, whatever, it's Friday night. You can go. I'm done with the crafting. Um, I did a thing. So for my birthday, I am going to go see Billy Idol. I love Billy Idol. Like he was my, you know how my mom loved Elvis. Mine was Billy Idol. And I told her. So we were, I don't know, probably 14, 15 when like my pure love for Billy Idol happened. And he came to the local university for a concert and I wanted to go and all my friends were going and my mother said no. And my mother never, Sheila never said no to anything. Like if I wanted to do it, I was a good kid. She let me do everything. Um, somebody at work or someone told her that it would be raunchy and I couldn't go. So I was, I was mad. I, I'm probably still mad at her over that. So guess what? Vicky in her fifties is going, I bought <laughs> front row seat meet and greet for Billy Idol and I'm going all by myself. So I will literally be dancing with myself at the Billy Idol concert. So I will make sure I document it and take lots of pictures. So I am going to see Billy Idol meet and greet by myself front row. No, I'm not. No, my mother doesn't get to come. She doesn't get to play. She denied me my, my, flesh for fantasy <laughs> dream right so yeah i bought myself tickets and i'm going all by myself sit in front row with a meet and greet and just hoping somebody will take my picture with billy idol i have to get a new pops uh my pop guy what are they called i just forgot so that i can get billy to sign that and uh yeah it's gonna be good i'm very excited so yeah uh, used to lip sync him. He looked like him then. Oh my goodness. I used to chase. There was a boy at the, the mall here uh, that had spiked bleach blonde hair and I loved him. He was Pete the punker and I would follow him around the mall because he looked just like Billy Idol and I loved him because I loved punk rockers. So yeah, that was my, I was a new waver, but I loved Funko Pop. Yeah, I need a new one. So I'm going to make some kind of cool outfit and be doing the things, but I look at it and go, life's too short. Do the things, make the art, eat the cake, come on a cruise with me. If you can afford to do it, a lot of them, you have a year to plan for it. So you put your deposit down, come and do that. Come and join me on the weekend events. Don't forget tomorrow is I'll put the grab boxes up. You can, you have to order that completely separately because they're packed. I will reimburse the difference for the shipping and the vintage kits go live tomorrow, 12 p.m. Eastern time, very limited amount, and I will do access only. So I will list everything on there that is in the kit. So if you want, if maybe you live in England and you can't get the kit or you're somewhere else and you want to order the pieces in, but do not delay. This collection, some of the pieces are sold out already all over. I tried to get additional kits. I couldn't. Simple Stories literally sold out as soon as that went live. The bits and pieces, the foam words, all of it sold out right away. Okay, so the vintage kit was your question. Tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern time, I have a very limited amount. If this is anything like the uh, Spectrum Sherbet, they were gone in a day. So just be aware of that but I will put up access only. Um, so it's going to be around the same cost of the Spectrum Sherbet weekend. It's a big, huge kit. We're going to be doing um, five double page layouts, maybe more. And it will be one of those like all Sunday afternoon or something kind of days. So it's going to be good. Okay. All right, friends. We'll see you later. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend. Uh, same time. The grab boxes will go live at, uh, well, here, I will do this. The grab boxes will go live at 11, so there's no confusion. You just put, and there's only 15 or 17 of those friends. Again, I'm going to stress this. It is used product, but it is a huge value if you want distress inks and you don't have very many. There's minis, and there are three by threes. There's stencils. There's art crayons. Some boxes are brand new, 
and some might be missing one crayon and then some are broken, but they still work. Remember, you can use those art crayons till it's a, a, a dot and you can still use it. So it will let the Hunger Games begin. And don't be mad at me if you don't get one. They sold out in seven minutes the last time. Um, look, I just cleaning out my stash, right? It's not something that I'm trying to make sure that people miss out, but it, it is what it is. So the grab boxes will go live tomorrow at 11 and the vintage, what I forgot already, whatever it's called, the vintage life blooms, something like that, will go live at 12 p.m. I'm going to send a newsletter out within the next hour. It's just going to be a quick one that just says this and this. And um, you will see it won't go live in the store. I can't post it into my shop until it's actually in the store live. So uh, tomorrow at uh, noon. So we'll see you later. They're all missing a white crayon. No, because those crayons don't work, right? The art crayons don't work for the wax resist. So it'll be good. All of mine are broken and they totally work, Holly. Remember, if you watch me, I will take a chip and rub it on my background and put water on. They're soft and pliable. They, they're really good water soluble crayons. And then new ones are gonna be going in my store. Gonna start loading that up next week. So it's gonna be good. We'll see you soon, Julianne in Moncton. I can't wait. Don't forget if you are in the Kitchener or area and you wanna come for Scrap Fest, scrapfest.ca. Scrap I'm hoping I get to see you guys. Very small group. We're gonna have a lot of fun. And um, that's it. I'm done talking for tonight. <laughs> We'll see you guys later. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week for, uh, I don't even remember what the next one is, but it's going to be good. Look at, we've had so much fun up to now. It's going to be good. We'll see you later, friends. Have a good night.